Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, lead AP, the expert plumber. Why am I muted? I'm about to do that. Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you right here on YouTube Live, having technology difficulties just every now and then. How is everybody doing today? Happy Monday. Let me turn on my Do Not Disturb here to make sure I don't have any problems. <clears throat> If you've never been here before, welcome to the channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. So whether you're getting in the trades, in the trades want to get better, whether you are thinking about starting your own company, whether you have the opinion that owning your own company might be the best thing and you'd like to use social media to get it going, great opportunities here for you. And it's not just me. I have a lot of other plumbers that jump in and out of here. They got great information too. So this is a wonderful place to be. Glad you're here. If this is your first time in here, do me a favor, put a message down in there and let me know that this is your first time and tell me where you're from, what you do and how you do it. Uh, I am trying to look over here to see if I can get some other stuff to come up just to see what's going on. But how is everybody doing? I'll jump here in the chat in just a second. That's what I'm looking for right there. And boom. So here we go. All right. Michael Pullen. You also waiting. Man, hey, I was in here earlier waiting, just as under another name. Uh, Frosty the Lake, good to see you. How are you? Michael Pullen, what's up? Yeah, the funny thing is I've got the questions here, and maybe Amber can jump in and tell me how to find them. Uh, oh, that might get me in there. Uh, I am trying to get in here and find out where my questions are going. Uh, we've had a, we've got a few changes going on. So just kind of trying to make things happen. Frosty the Lake there. Okay. Pinky Der Pie. Well, I hope we got that. Pinky Der Pie. How are you? Hello, everyone. Joe Teague, apparently an HVR technician. I like that. Luis Hernandez is in the house. Dominic Williams. And we are all having a great day. Mike Rue, I'm a plumber in PIE Canada. Love your content. PEI, Prince Edwards. Man, forgive me. I am from Texas, and I got to tell you, geography was not my greatest class. Got hello from New Hampshire. Michael, man, we are doing great today. Uh, Drake Jr. says, what is the most money you ever made in a year by becoming a plumber? That's a good question. If y'all are in here and you are a plumber, what is the best year you've ever had? What, what is the most money? And, and let's say, Let's say just overall annual income as a plumber. Put a put a comment in there and let us know what what's the most amount of money you ever made in one year. I like that. That's a good question. And I know that we've got a link up top. So there's a, go to ask a question there. I'm not sure. Let me see if I go in that way. If it'll let me in there. No. Okay, I thought it could. Uh, I don't have the login to get in here, uh, so I'm probably not going to answer any questions over here, just so y'all know. At least I'm being honest about it, though. And I will try to remember. If my team's in here, let, let me know if I've got a link to that break uh, and the phone number. Man, we've got something new coming in. We've got a number where y'all can call and leave me voicemails, and it's stuff that I can roll over into the... YouTube videos and podcasts and different things that we're working on. And, and that's another good question. If I did a podcast, how many of y'all would listen? Just if you're in here and you would listen to a podcast, Joshua Vickery said he made 120 grand on service on just doing side work. Gotta love it. Slicky, 86, 150,000, best year ever in HVAC. Yeah, you can make good money in a trades, guys. You really can. I have a question for you right off the bat. Doing great, by the way. I love that. I'm always doing wonderful. 
Could you answer my question on the industry in Reno, Nevada? Any advice? Uh, if you mean how, how's the industry going, I got to tell you, Reno is always a spot. I'm involved or was involved with the union here for many years. And what I can tell you is, man, guys were always going to Vegas to go to work. So I'm assuming Vegas is doing it. The last few times I've been there, there's tower cranes everywhere. There's Look, trades follow the money. Uh, there's a ton of money in Vegas, and Vegas is growing and building. And I got to tell you, it it really is beneficial. So, yes, indeed. Drain Medic, how are you? Good to see you in here. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Our white guy is good. Says, hey, Roger, no, have a question. Why is your dishwasher not turning on? And you're from Wisconsin. Maybe you got too much cheese stuck in it. That was a joke. Uh, you know, our white guy, here, here's what I tell you. It is, are you not getting power to it? You're not getting water to it? Give me a little more information to work with. Uh, Cameron Sully says, first time here, but been watching my channel lately and it piques your interest in plumbing. I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of people that send me messages and say, look, I got into plumbing because I started watching your videos and it was really good for me. So I love that. Uh, thank you very much. Good Taji Demon, back in the house, checking in from Baltimore. Corey Jones, learning a lot from your channel. I love that. Uh, Quincy, California, yourself. Yeah, right by that huge Dixie fire. Man, that is crazy out there, isn't it? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I am losing a little weight. I'm not doing too much too good. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Maybe my, my large shirts are starting to get baggy. Uh, you know, I, I lose it real slow. I just, I kind of start watching what I'm eating and, and do a little bit better at a time. I ordered one of those climbers in. You know, and I thought about this a long time ago. I was having to climb an extension ladder a lot one day. And, man, at the end of the day, I just thought, man, I'm hurting in areas I never thought of. And I thought, man, that would be a great piece of workout of equipment, just a big ladder. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not going to climb a ladder all day anymore. But the, the thing is, uh, I'm glad that they invented that piece of workout equipment because I think it's great. Emily Mick says, hello from Chicago. Captain JRW in the house. Happy Monday, Roger. Daughter and I are watching again from San Antonio. Angel, I got to tell you, man, I, I went back to and looked at that message and the pictures. I think that is fantastic. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. HVAC from Phoenix. On the books or off the books? You know, that's a good question, Michael, because here's the deal. And a lot of plumbers do this, and, and let's say this hypothetically. Uh, how many plumbers do you know that make money off the books? Uh, you know, hypothetically, this is not you, but how many plumbers do you know that make a lot of money off the books? And we'll just leave it at that. That way, I'm not really asking you what off the books means. You're not really telling me. It just is what it is. Pennsylvania in the house. I love that. Talked about Josh. Talked about Sulky 86. Drain Medic says, I can't tell you in case my wife is in here. See, you know? And, and that's really great because I had a plumber. We did direct deposit. And he would not let us give him direct deposit. He said, nope. He says, I want you to write me a check because then I can go by the bank and cash it pull out as much cash as I want to. And then his wife got to see the statement and she just knew how much was deposited. So she thought that's all he made. Pretty good. Uh, we've got Eric in here, apprentice plumber from Arnold's Plumbing. Good thing, welcome to the show. Eminent things, well, make sure I get this right. Eminent things, things will mine. Well, I know I'm messing this up. Hi, Roger. Big fan of yours and your content. Fifth year apprentice. Northeast area. Commercial alteration. Commercial remodels. I like this. Having some slight trouble with overhead layout. Do you have any pointers? You know what? I, and, and man, I, I really do. And here's what I'll tell you that always worked really well for me. And, and, and I hope this helps you. I would literally pop my lines on the ground, take a laser, and shoot them up. And I've got to tell you, I love those, those little what, five 
five-way lasers, straight line, horizontal line, up and down. That would help me lay everything out on the ground, look up at the ceiling to make sure I'm not going to have any problems popping holes or anything. But, man, that helped me a whole lot. We got some new. Okay, okay, so you would go the podcast. You would go the podcast. Okay, we, we, got, a, we got a line in here. Okay, I like that. Not a lot, a few. That's good. It's a great way to start. We haven't even done it yet. Those of y'all that don't know, we've also got another YouTube channel. I'm just telling this so you know. Uh, because we are working on things, and we are going to get things going over there here real soon. And I want to go ahead and put this in just because I think I can get to it fairly quickly. But my thought is, you know, we've got a lot of people in here that aren't plumbers. So we've got a lot of people in here that are other trades. What I'm going to do is put a link down in here. If, if you think that you'd like to see the other channel, uh, we don't have any videos up yet. We're literally getting everything going, but this is going to be the YouTube channel for that other podcast, magazine, everything that we're working on. So there's a link to it. If you're interested in it, check it out. And, and if you are, if you, if you do go over there and you want to learn more about it, subscribe to it. We're working on things. I've got Dean and Austin putting things together for me in there. So that would be great. Uh, or some more, some more, some more, some more. There we go. Uh, how can you make sure your septic tank is working properly? Number one, you probably want to have a septic tank company come out and look at it. Make sure that it's cleaned out. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Pretty cool. Angel Vasquez. Angel Velasquez says that would be a way to go. Man, I'm, we're looking forward to that. And, and Drain Medic, you are so right here. No better time to be in the trays. And I talk about this a lot because there's a lot of people that want to get in the trays and they're like, look, I'm going to have to take a pay cut. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this. Here's the thing. In the long run, you're going to make a ton of money over here and it can be really, really good. Popcorn soda says, what math is plumbing involved with? Yeah. Man, it's, it's, it's simple. It, it's addition, subtraction, multiplication. Every now and then you, you'll get into a little algebra or geometry, nothing major. Uh, here's the cool thing about it. And popcorn soda, I want you to think about it this way because this is the way I like to tell people. You literally learn to tie your shoes at a young age. At least I hope you did. And that to me is what plumbing is. Look, plumbing is something you just, you do it over and over again to look, don't even think about it. You've got it. It's a piece of cake. You may think about how to do it better, how to do it faster, how to, do, how to make it last longer. He asked about how to lay out a ceiling. You're always figuring out how to do something better. But here's the deal. Basically, plumbing math is not very hard. It's mainly learning how to use a tape measure. That is the biggest part of it. If there's anybody in here that's a plumber, in plumbing, anything like that, that thinks the math is too hard in plumbing and people should just stay out of plumbing because of the math, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. But if so, let me know why you think that. Because I've got to tell you, I really don't think plumbing math is that bad. I'm going to try something just to see what happens here. Let's see. I, and I've got a break button. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, I knew they had it on here. I didn't know if it was working yet, but apparently it's not, so we're good. Uh, I'll be cool. says, hey, Roger, student aspiring to become a successful plumber like you. If I enroll for your online courses on the site, can I get a journeyman license certificate? And the answer is no. Uh, I'd be cool. Here's the deal. There's no way that I can give you a certificate for as a journeyman plumber, no matter what. Uh, I've got two different groups of classes out here. I've got the getting into the trades program, which we we have just finished shooting module six. So I've got two more modules to shoot, which the last two modules are OSHA, PPE safety, and the journeyman license, the things that you need to study to get your journeyman license the things that will help put you in the right mindset to get your license. A lot of people, I know people that have had their apprentice license or apprentice registration for six or eight years, and they're like, look, I just I don't test well. 
and they believe that and they let it scare them. I've worked around them. Some of them are, are freaking great plumbers, but that test scares the heck out of them and they won't even take it. Man, I feel sorry for people like that. Joe T says, just had a job fair at my trade school. Around 20 employers showed up to it. All were hiring. Most were doing on-the-spot interviews. Only a few asked if I had any experience. Yeah, most people are just looking for, we're looking for good people. We're hiring for character. We can trade skills or train skills. So, man, if you're a good person, you're going to get a job. Uh, Roger, do you know if working with pull equipment, piping falls more on plumbing or pull technician? Falls in on pull technician. I think Alita Baker, it, the plumbers will not, plumbers unions, people like that will not give you credit for that. Most plumbing companies won't. Me, I'm the kind of guy, it's like, look, if you've got experience running PVC, cutting pipe, gluing it, priming it, cementing it, making sure everything works, look, I would definitely be willing to talk to you and say, look, here's how we can make this work. How to hardscape, how are you doing? Good to see you in here. Joshua Victory says, do you prefer rough? I don't prefer, oh, rough in or service plumbing. Sorry, I'm laughing. Uh, you know, Joshua, here's the deal. And, and this is such a great way to look at it. I, I've, and I've got a history doing all of it. So I've done commercial, I've done residential, I've done service, I've done, none, done new construction, I've done union, I've done non-union. My big thing is what I prefer doesn't necessarily mean that's what you'll prefer. I love residential service plumbing because I get to take care of customers. I get to talk to them. I get to make sure everything's okay. I get to make sure they're not having any problems. I get to help them solve things. Uh, on the other hand, I was a superintendent in the union. I made good money because I ran big jobs. I got them done on time, under budget, and safely. What I prefer is not necessarily what you may prefer. Uh, what I'll tell you is go in to my page, go take the free mini course, look at it, and it'll ask you some questions to help you figure it out. And I hope that helps you a lot. I don't really want to tell you what I prefer other than, look, I'm doing residential service work, but I've got reasons for that. You go in and take that and tell me which you prefer. Which one do you think you like better? Because it's different for everybody. Uh, Michael Pullen says, another question, uh, better after you are a qualified plumber to create your own company or join one already exists? Yeah, definitely wait till after you get your license, but Michael, here's the deal. You may want to join other companies and you're going to because you're going to have to put in your time to get your hours and do things. What I would tell you is get in, get into the trades and definitely watch what other companies are doing. Watch and see because you're going to learn from them, even if they're doing things wrong. I have plumbers come to work for me. They leave and they tell me why they're here. Man, man you're, you're, a, you're a hard ass to work for. Uh, man, you're, you're difficult. You're rough. You want everything done perfect. And in the last probably three months, I've got notes from three people that have left saying, Roger, look, I got to tell you, I'm glad I worked for you. You, you're hard to work for, but you wanted us to do things perfect. And now that I own my own company, I understand why. And I got to tell you, I appreciate stuff like that. I think it's bad that people think I'm, I'm hard to work for because I just want things done right. I want people to show up on time. I want people to come in and be accountable, be responsible, and do the things they're supposed to do. And, and to me, that, that's really all I ask for. So sometimes it's hard, but, you know, I would think about going to work for another company first, then you can learn, then you can come in and, and do your own company or whatever you want to do. But take the time to learn things. You're not going to get a ton of experience just getting your license. So think about it that way. Willie AB2 says, hey Roger, should someone who wants to be a plumber go to technical school for plumbing or start as an, working as an apprentice? And Willie, that's going to be up to you. Uh, again, I would say go over to my YouTube channel, go up to the top corner, click on the links to Plum Study, take the free mini course. Uh, and if Grayson or Austin or anybody is in there still listening, maybe they can put a link to the free mini course in there. And there may be one down in the description. I don't have it right here in front of me. Uh, but I, it looks like there probably is. 
I don't see it right now, but I'm looking. Uh, where'd it go? I thought I just saw it. Ah, free mini course right there. Look at that. Look at that. Now let me see. I don't know if it'll let me copy the whole thing, though. Uh, I am trying to make this work, but I don't know if it's going to or not. Nope. Uh, so anyway, I thought it would. Wait, let me do it this way. I, I love it when a challenge pops up. Oh, that ain't good. All right, we got away from that. Anyway, go to the top right hand corner or go into my YouTube, go to the top right corner uh, to the mini course corner and check it out and see. <laughs> Roger, do you miss packing and pouring joints of lead and oakum? Yeah, you know, I really don't. I think it's pretty cool and I'm good at it, but no hub bands and, and <clears throat> tie seal gaskets are a whole lot faster. Emmanuel8395 says, hey, Roger, just got a job as a helper at a plumbing company. Congratulations. Uh, hoping to get my apprenticeship here soon. Decided to make the jump after watching your videos. Emmanuel, number one, man, I love that. Thank you very much. That makes me feel wonderful. Uh, what I'll tell you is that it takes work. It literally... Man, this can be the greatest thing in your life, but it takes work. It takes work to be good. It takes work to be the best. It takes work to stick with it long enough to where you can make really good money. But once you get there, man, you're going to love it. Uh, so I like that. That is cool. Oh, didn't even put it up there. There you go. Emmanuel A395. Sorry about that. I thought I already had it up. Yes, Lead and Oakum did go away. Pinky der Pai Pai looks like, man, I hope I'm saying that right. Hello from New Jersey. Uh, how did the trades attract more people into the industry? And how to hardscape, that's good because, you know, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. I am trying to use all my reach videos, anything I do in the trades to help recruit more people into it just for that reason. Sorry about that. I need some cold water. Uh, yeah, man, we've got to, there, there's over 900,000 unfilled trade jobs right now. Uh, I truthfully think here in the next four to five years, plumbers are going to be making about a hundred bucks an hour and now's the best time ever to get into it. So man, we've got to figure out a way. All right. David says, Hey, Roger, think about becoming a plumber. Will I struggle at six foot five? No, uh, man, I've seen plumbers five foot five. I've seen them six foot five. Uh, no, it, it, I mean, really, it doesn't even matter what kind of plumber you want to be. It, now, if you're six foot five, you know, 380 pounds, maybe, but if you're just a good tall guy, a uh, uh, good tall person, doesn't even have to be a guy. Man, if you can get in a cabinet that I can get in and work, you're going to be good. If you can crawl around under a house I do, you're going to be good. If you can get in an attic and bend over just like I do, you're going to be good. Perfect, Michael. Thank you. Nate Polglaze says, no here, I went to school for a year, decided it wasn't for me. Took a leap of faith and joined Local 75 Plumbing Union in Wisconsin. Best decision of my life and love the channel. As if you do, if you like the channel, do me a favor, do two things for me. Number one, if you hadn't subscribed, which I'm assuming you have, do that. But number two, give us a thumbs up, like this video, and share it with somebody. Share this video to any of your social medias. You know somebody in your life that needs a job, that needs a career, that needs something new. And I'm going back up here to what uh, How to Hardscape talked about. Getting, or yeah, how to hard skip, how to get people back in the trades. So everybody take just a second and go down and hit share. So share this to your social media posts and ask people, do you need to get in the trades or do you know somebody that does? And I guess y'all hear my dog. I hear it. Trust me, you know somebody that, that either hates their job, hates the career that they have, 
hate the fact that their parents or somebody's telling them they need to go to school or they'll never amount to anything, send this to them and, and tell them, look, you need to check this out. Because I'm telling you, back up what to what How to Hardscape says, we've got to get more people in the trades. Guys, as you're driving down the road tomorrow, look around. Every house, every condo, every bridge, every office building, everything in the world that you, you drive past is built or repaired by somebody in the trades. So Nate, good one. Sorry, my, it jumped on me. And I think I made it go away. Where'd it go? There we go. Are you the imposter? Yes, I am. I am not the real Roger Wakefield. But we'll find him one day. Do you recommend any school or beginner courses for new plumbers, also residential or commercial? Cameron, this is what I was talking about a while ago. Go look on, I think it's the top right corner of my YouTube channel where it talks about plum study. Go in there. I have a free mini course. Go check it out. You need a plumbing license in Texas to clean drains? Yes, you do. Editor Grayson's got a link in there to Tuber Turds. Yeah, and this is a spot, uh, and I know it says Tuber Turds there. Oh, Tuber Turds, there you go. Check out Rogers Academy. So people that are looking for a place to get a license or learn, this is a place to help you learn how to become the best plumber you can be. Not to be the plumber. I don't teach you how to solder, join pipe, anything like that. It teaches you the mindset. No matter what trade you're in, the things I teach in here help you move up to become the very best tradesman you can be. And that's what it's all about, guys. Oh, that's that link right there. Sorry about that. Work safe, everyone. Got to go grocery shopping. Michael, and, and it's funny because literally I shot a video today about OSHA, PPE, and all that. I think it's a good one. Definitely a podcast. I kind of agree. Do you have a vid? I've got a lot of them. There is the link to the Trade Talks. Guys, I'm telling y'all, go check out this channel if you hadn't yet. And the reason I say that is that it really... Let's see if it'll let me. I just want to see something. This is going to give you an opportunity to learn about different trades, about what the different trades are doing, how to get into them, where they're located, where the unions are, just, man, a ton of different stuff. We've had so much fun working on this one. Hello from Pennsylvania, labor with G. Ritzick and Sons Mechanical Contractors. Justin, welcome to the show. Impact 145, you know, it's funny. I don't have videos about reading blueprints, but when I was in the union, Teaching drawing, it, that man, that was my deal. A dark meme says, are you the imposter? And I am the real me. Jerry Medic, thank you very much. Yeah, if you hadn't subscribed, if you hadn't shared this, if you hadn't liked the video, man, tell me why. What, what, what am I doing wrong? Well, maybe don't tell me that. No, I do. I want to know. Katajay says, as a first-year apprentice seeking employment, fully equipped, tool-wise, but no car. Should I get an odd job first, but one, I'll job first to get one, or will companies give me a shot? You know, Katajay, most companies are not going to give you a shot if you don't have transportation, a driver's license, things like that. The reason being, and I have, I had a, I had hired a guy. He had to take Uber, he had to take Dart, he had to take a million different things. But you know what? He came in late, like two or three days a week. And then we're waiting on him to get here so we can send plumbers out. And it ends up costing us a fortune. Katajay, what I'd tell you is do what you can to get a vehicle, get licensed. Or, man, if you live close enough, tell them, look, I'll ride my bicycle every day. I'm going to be here and, and make it work. Layout would be great. Yeah, I need to work on that too. That's good. Christian, I've got some videos about finding a job. I'd not say I do. I make so many videos. 
Uh, I, I think that I do. Look, I teach people in my courses how to how to get out and find a job. But first, you got to figure out what's right for you. Go through that trades academy or through the getting in Plum Study, top right corner of my YouTube channel. Go through Plum Study. Go through their free mini course. Find out what type plumber you want to be. Do that before you get a job because once you can figure that out, it'll help you a lot. If you get a job and it's not the kind of plumber you want to be, you, you won't like it. Arnie, it's not too hard to solder, and you know, welding's different. Welding is something you've got to learn. It's a good skill set, though. It's something that, to me, going to the union, going to a PHCC company, going to a tech college, anything like that, that can be great to help you become a welder. Uh, Sigma says, I got a kind of a big question, not important. In Norway, we only use PEX pipes. Uh, pop inside PEX, pop inside pop. There you go. Uh, this is so we could change the pop from the sanitary equipment over to the main inlet. That's different. Uh, one pop out of everything. Why don't you do it like that in the U.S.? You know, what we do is we loop everything. Uh, build manifolds and loop from there, or we go into a main manifold and distribute. It depends on if we pop everything underground or overground. Uh, we pop everything underground here mainly because of frost lines and whatnot, so different different ways to look at it. LM Perfection 25 says, electrical engineer here. Thank you for the wonderful videos. Very informative and well thought out. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Math is only hard when you're taking a test, right? Man, when, when you ain't taking a test, it, it, nothing's hard. It, it, that, that's a good way to put it, Drain Medic. I like that. Uh, Eminent things, things will mine, and I'm hoping I'm getting that right. Key to soldering for me is always heat control, pipe, then fitting, vertical pipe, configuration, head top down to control the heat. I like that. Uh, and I do it like you, and this is one thing y'all, I took the med gas class in the union and the first day I was the only one out of 14 students, I think I was the only one to pass the med gas, to pass the brazing. I know brazing and soldering are a little bit different, but the whole thing about it was what I was doing is like you said, I heated up the pipe first to help transfer the heat up in there. Then I went up into the fitting and then whenever my seal flaw started heating up, man, I was just jamming it up in there and letting the heat dry it. Tape, I mean, soldering is about the same way. Uh, and I'm like, you heat it up on the bottom, get it hot, get it hot enough it starts to melt, move my torch to the top, apply the heat or the solder to the bottom, let it pull up. And everybody does it different, but that's the way I was taught. I like that. Very, very good. Add, multiply, divide, decimal fractions, tape measure. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, if y'all like what I'm doing, man, leave me a testimonial over there. That's wonderful. Uh, not by, not by. Yeah, I'm going to put that up here just because Sean I hadn't seen him yet. If y'all have not seen this, if y'all have not gone over to the subreddit, I got to tell you what. We have got some good stuff over there. Uh, and we are looking, we're, we're looking to make a video right now. If you've seen any crazy plumbing, now I'll give you an out. You can always put, hey, this wasn't me. Uh, but if you've seen any crazy plumbing, do me a favor. Uh, take pictures of it. Go over there and either post it, pictures or videos. And it doesn't have to be bad plumbing. It can be good plumbing. Uh, but if you've got any good or crazy pictures, videos, anything like that you've seen out in the field, do me a favor and send it over and let, let us know. Austin says, don't forget to gently graze that like button. Guys, if you like this video, dude, just reach it, don't graze it. Slam the crap out of it. Hit that bell. Make it make noise, and you will know what's going on. Thank you, Austin. There we go. Toughest plumbing math I've seen is a rolling offset. Math isn't that bad. Knowing your fittings was most of the battle. Boy, isn't that the truth? All right. 
Mike Ruse says, most important skill in plumbing, common sense, and work ethic. Man, amen. I like that. Joshua's a licensed journeyman. Just curious on what your preferences were versus mine. Well, depends on what your preferences are. I have a lot of them. Uh, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to, oh, that's the night bot. Absolutely. Minecraft says, hi, Merry Christmas. Be here soon. Boy, now, see, Minecraft, so you're already thinking about video games for Christmas. I got that. That's good, though. I like that. Architectural sheet metal is in the house. How are we doing? Guys, if y'all hadn't checked out that channel, that's another one in construction, the trades, yada, yada, yada. Get over and check it out. I think you're ready for Christmas. I like that. Michael Pullins, I think you'll be a good teacher if someone is to work under you. Michael, I try, I try to teach. It's, it's hard sometimes because I've got so much going on. I try to get in there with my plumbers at least a couple of days a week, talk to them, see where they're at and what we can make happen. There is the link to the subreddit. And Emma of Things says, What's the average rate of union and non-union plumbers in your area? It's, it's about the same. Plumbers in our area make around 30, I'm going to say around 30 bucks an hour. Lost to the work and learn, spend the time, develop skills, get qualified, build the character. Do the work. Learn. Absolutely. How do I get your plumbing apprentice program? Well, to get in my plumbing apprentice program, you come over here and go to work. I've got the Trades Academy scrolling across the bottom. I've got Plum Study on the top right corner. Both of them are out there. Patrick Wilson says, hey, Roger, it's pouring degrees are down. Any pipes help? No, it really doesn't. Man, hot water, hydrojetter, clean them up. Good to go. Just another beautiful day. It's Shifty says, I subscribed a while ago, never planned on being a plumber, but an offer came completely random and I took it. Been doing top outs for a couple of months now. So, it's Shifty, tell me what you think about it. Are you enjoying what you're doing? Dog Dash Dash, plumbing is hard, stinks sometimes. It's hot and sweaty and it's pretty thankless, but looking back at your work, pride of something that never goes away. And, I, and look, I like the way you put that. Now, I don't agree with everything you wrote. I don't think it's super hard. Yes, it does stink sometimes. It can get hot and sweaty, but can also get so cold you freeze your little Easter eggs off. Uh, and it's not necessarily thankless. There's, and there are times that it's so repetitive it feels that way. But I got to tell you, there's a lot of time that, man, there's a lot going on and I got to think of it. So I like that. Do your recall now while you're there. Don't know what you mean, but you're good. Roger, fan of your videos, new homeowner. Had a tankless water heater installed when running hot water for a period of time. Pressure valve leaks a small amount. Is this normal? No. Pressure valve should not leak at all. I would call him, have him come back and change it. Mr. Stash says, it is going fantastic. Thank you very much. Dog Dash, five foot six guy. Uh, just get sent into the crawl space mostly. Yeah, oh, of course, man. Get you in there and see what happens. Michael Pullen, house has a borehole so we don't use other water, but we're struggling with water pressure. How do I fix it? I may have to get a storage tank and a pump. There you go. Got, got other people wanting to join up in Wisconsin. Mr. Williams says trades are rewarding across the board. Man, they're rewarding everywhere in the country. It's fantastic. Is a plumbing apprentice same as a pipe fitter apprentice? It's really close. Plumbers mainly deal with things you see, sewer water, potable water, things like that. Pipe fitters normally deals with Condenser water, chilled water, heating water, things like that. Oh, you know what? And this is something to think about. 
Puff the Stuff says, I had a helper quit on me today because he's afraid of ladders. I've had helpers leave because they don't want to crawl under houses. Uh, cross spaces and tunnels just wear them out. I've had plumbers I had to let go of because they couldn't get up on the fifth floor of a hospital during construction, just would not. They got up there and froze up, so it was bad. Alzar says, gotten plumbing entry level for about six grand for three months. So I'm assuming you took a community college course or something. And see, I don't always recommend that. It really depends on who it is. Alzar's in Vegas, so I'm still having a hard time getting a job. Hmm. Brandon says, just started working as a plumbing Associate, any recommendations to help you learn more? Yeah, Brandon, what, what I tell you, number one, you're in a great spot. Number two, start watching every video I've put up. Uh, you're going to learn a lot of different things. And keep coming back and, and letting us know how it's going. I, I really do like that. Thank you. As our says, man, all I can tell you is if you hadn't gone through my plumb study, go through the free mini course, find out what kind of plumbing job you're interested in whether it's residential, commercial, service, new construction, whatever it is, see what all you can get figured out. And, and then I've got some videos teaching that. I've got some in my course, so I don't know where you're going to get the best information. But, man, you definitely need to be out getting into the trade so you learn more. Cameron, you are welcome. Amber Mendoza finally made it in. Good to see you here. Marcel says, currently doing well in a technical office job, but I'm stuck. Used to install x-ray equipment, hated flying, readily close to sending resumes for plumber apprenticeship, but the money cut will hurt. And, and I tell you what, Marcel, it will hurt. And I tell people this story a lot, but look, whenever I first got into plumbing, I had to take other jobs. I was a bartender at night, I was a bouncer at night, uh, restaurant manager. I mean, uh, I've done a lot of different things but I keep coming back to plumbing or kept coming back to it. And eventually I got it to where I made the kind of money I wanted to make. So it can be really good. Lloyd Pearson, how are we doing today? Second year apprentice, started out in commercial plumbing and love it. Do you think I'll be missing out not working residential? Lloyd, man, it's different from everybody. I know people that, that get into residential and hate it. I know some that get into residential and love it. It, and it's hard to say. I actually enjoyed the commercial work too. Commercial work is normally busy. You can at least go to the job and know you're going to be busy every day for the next two years, five years, however long it takes. So, and any of it's possible. Thank you, Roger and team. Lost my grocery list. Uh, you offer great advice. Michael, thank you so much. I, I hope you find your list. Alexa says, just finished my ride along with your company. Really loved your company standards. Hope to work with your company soon enough. Alexa says, great having you here today. Thank you. Bill Mahan says, I've been rippling water. I have rippling water in my toilet bowl. I uh, put blue dye tabs in the tank. No water is coming into the bowl. Check my water meter after five hours, not leaking any water. Hmm. Well, that's a kind of strange one. It, boy. Maybe you've got so much wind blowing that the, the water's moving through from the atmospheric vents. Just giving ideas. Uh, dumb numb, no, don't know what the imposter is, but thank you very much. John Ball, if auger doesn't find any clog and bowl fills slowly drains without clearing content, what should I look for next? Uh, number one, in 25 feet, the auger should find something. If it's draining slow, uh, if you wait a couple of days and come back, does it still drain slow? Because if so, it, it may be in the toilet. There could be a soft clog in there that the auger is just going right through. That happens. Cyborg, how are you? Uh, lots of stuff. Anybody who wants to send pictures over to any of my YouTube or any of my stuff in general, actually, send it over here. We, we 
have a subreddit channel. It's right there, Roger Wakefield Posts. What we do is we take those pictures, videos. If we see it over there, number one, once you put it there, we have access to it. Makes it really easy. We like that. Uh, if you'll send it to me over there, man, we can get in there and play with it and have fun. So hope that works. Uh, where'd it go? T Griff says, I think every plumber should learn rough ends before learning service. You know, I think it's a good thing, but you'll, you'll find some plumbers that they're never going to be construction workers. They're never going to build things, but they may be the best repair technician in the world. So I don't think they've got to learn rough ends. I do think it helps though. Luckily for me, I started in construction and remodeled, then got into service, then got into residential on both ends. So I've learned it all, but I've got to tell you, it's a, it's a good way to look at it. In the things, just passed your NITC med gas and brazing cert, good for you. Vertical joints are pain in the butt. Man, in Texas, I've, I've been there and done it. It is what it is. Chris has bought a new bidet, changed my life. I gotta tell you, Chris, I've got one at my house. Uh, I've got the bidet toilet seat. Matter of fact, I've got two or three here in the shop. I love them. Uh, yeah, it will change your life. Zav, you can ask a question right here. Uh, the link, man, I can't get into the link. I was trying. Let me try one more thing here. Nope. Okay. Uh, you can ask questions here. Chris, your pops are very clean. Completely agree, mine are too. Hunter Davis says, in my area, most plumbers get around the same rate per hour. How would you try to get more money when you're stuck? You know, Hunter, this is a great question, but at the end of the day, to make more money, you gotta bring more value. And that's something I learned through Jim Rohn and a lot of speakers that I study under. But I'll tell you this, you know, learning more value is gonna help you bring more skill sets to the company you work for, and that's gonna make, make you worth more money. So I hope that helps. Obi, man, congratulations and good for you. Log Rester says, junior in high school, uh, with a trade school and trades get you through a nice life. Trades will Log Rester, I don't know that you've gotta go through trade school to do it, but yeah, nope. Yep. Nope. I think it disappeared on me. Got down to a super sticker too. There we go. Chris, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's it. Don't forget to share and like, guys. That's a big deal. Roger needs some help. Took on a job as a warehouse manager for a plumbing company. Only got the job because you're good with organization of the warehouse, but you know nothing, pop or fittings. Man, study it hard, go to Charlotte, go to Tyler, go to all their websites, and man, it'll help you out. Chris Yarzab, you put the toilet seat down when you're done, not before, just so you know. I help people with every advice. Sink or swim job, there you go. I say swim. Uh, what's happening in Texas? There's multiple plumbing companies from Texas. Eric, there's probably thousands of plumbing companies in Texas. Cyborg got no training. Sam, I'm doing well, sir. You're having a bad day, ma'am. Omar, if, if you've been doing commercial and industrial, yeah, going to the union could be very good for you. Uh, the reason being, you've already got experience at it. I don't know how much experience you had and how good it was, though. So that's something they're going to look at. Alan, hello to the UK. How are you?
Hunter Davis says stuck at sixteen fifty a good plumber. Now, Hunter, you say a good plumber. Where are you located? Do you have a plumbing license? Uh, do you become a lead on new residential construction? Yeah, they'd be paying me twice. Shoot, they'd be paying me about three times that to take a lead on new construction. Valve on your water heater is leaking, so you plugged it and stopped it. No, it's not okay. It's probably the TMP valve. You don't ever want to plug that. You want to replace it. Shut your water off. Drain your water heater down. When I say shut it off, shut the water off and either the gas or the electricity. Drain it down and change it out. But no, you don't ever want to plug that. That's dangerous. I think I missed most about being a super in the union. What's something you're glad you don't have to see or deal with anymore? You know, the funny thing is, is I actually, look, I love being a superintendent. I love running work because I love looking ahead, trying to stay ahead of the crews on materials, on everything. So it, it's actually a pretty cool deal. I crawl under and over houses. I get it. Detours with Jeff. How are you doing? Good to see you in here. Sorry, see, I got detoured. Let me see. Mr. Jeff Eatley, that's what I thought. Man, I looked at the picture and see it very little down there. Jeff Eatley, guys, this is another one. Uh, you want to see some cool thumbnails and, and great stuff. One heck of a photographer, one heck of a photographer. Actually got him to go down to Orlando with me for a roofing conference, shoot some pictures. Detours with Jeff is great. Uh, if y'all hadn't done it, jump over there, check out his channel, subscribe to it. Cool guy. Really cool guy. Michael says, thanks for answering your question. Really helps. Keep up the good work. Going to bed. Man, I wish I was. I'm kind of tired. Merlin Place is next week. Start working on Plumber's Apprentice commercial. I hope you love it. Look, man, commercial plumbing is good. Commercial plumbing's fun, and you can stick with it for a long time and really pay your bills. It's not a bad thing. MP is thinking of doing a plumbing course in college. Is it a good idea? Really depends on where you're going to college and how much they teach. Uh, it really depends. Uh, GRM fishing. Here's what I tell you: is it depends on what study guide, what code book y'all are using. Here in Texas, uh, I know you can't see it. I've got the UPC study guide back behind me. I think it's phenomenal. The IPC makes a good study guide too, so yeah. Hunter Davis says infield is a good idea too. Absolutely. Got a super sticker here from Chris Yarzop. Thank you very much. Danny Ray says leaking relief valve. Check thermal expansion tank if you have one for correct air pressure. Absolutely. Any tricks for removing sized seized tub drains when the special tool doesn't fit? Well, number one, steel painter, painter, there's about three different special tools. I like the rigid, the expandable. But I'll tell you what, yeah, you can actually take a sawzall, go in and just cut the metal and then peel that out. Don't go too far. You'll end up cutting either the plastic or brass on your shoe. But yeah, I've gone in and cut them out before. But... Once I got the rigid tool that expands, I can take that in a pipe wrench and I don't try and just jerk it because I don't want it to pull that shoe out. But I'll take I'll, I'll take that tool and get it down in there and then take the pipe wrench and get on the hex part of it and just kind of slowly apply pressure. And that puppy works well. Drain Medic, I got in plumbing in 1980. I know a lot of y'all just started laughing and thought, damn, he is old. Ed Erolias is new into the plumbing world since I own a house, but I want to learn. Man, good deal. Uh, Edder, I like that because, look, we, we can all learn, and if it's learning to fix our own plumbing, what a great place to start. Dum Num says, what are your thoughts on the new Fortnite update? Man, I hate to tell you all this, I'm not a gamer. Uh, and really, I wish I was because I do enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy playing video games. But, you know, y'all laugh at me. My games are like Galaga, 
asteroids, stuff like that. I, and, and I know I already hear y'all laughing, but I got to tell you, uh, I would be horrible as a gamer. I'm just, I never got good at it, but man, I love playing. Toilet tank is pressured up against the drywall. It's pressed up against the drywall. Is there an offset or, or do I buy a toilet with a th thinner tank? Chris, you can do two things. Uh, first of all, check your dimension off the wall. Is it a 10 inch or 12 inch rough? If you think it's jammed up too tight and it's a 12 inch rough, you can get a 10, but then you're liable to have a gap back behind the toilet. I think I'd rather have a gap than just have it pressed up against it. Uh, the, I mean, they make offset flanges. I don't know that I would take it apart and put one of those on though. It, it's really up to you. David Campbell says, hello from Germany. It's currently 12 p.m. And he has to get up at 3 a.m. because of work, but love YouTube videos. David, number one, thank you very much. I hope you're subscribed. Uh, guys, if y'all have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, ring the bell, and share this video. Uh, share this video with somebody you know that maybe needs somebody to tell them about a new career, a new trade. Man, they may, they may have a job they hate. And this may be enough to just tell them, hey, you know what? I want to try that. This has been wonderful for me. Uh, Bill says, thanks for the attempt to answer Roger. As long as I'm not leaking water, I guess you're okay. Man, that, that is pretty much true. And I'm glad you enjoy the channel. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're clogged, can you drink Drano? Probably not the best idea in the world. I would say no. Uh, I can say... One word for new people for plumbing, uh, get started. Gabriel Harris, my question, got an issue with your kitchen sink, losing pressure. I have to use the sprayer to get the pressure back. Boy, that's a weird one. Pressure sink losing, that's like you may just have a bad cartridge in there and the, the sprayer is making it kick over. Uh, Devil's Eagle 01 says, mother wants to know if it's okay to pour pancake batter down the drain. I wouldn't. I would pour it in the trash can. If she's got some old jars, like jelly jars or something she wants to throw away, pour it in there. What you don't want to do is pour any batter down in there where it may get thick, uh, harden up, and, and cause it to clog. Uh, I would tell her no. Yes. Click the like button, please. I'll put it to you this way. I really think you ought to click the like button. I think if you enjoy what you see here, it'll help you get more of it. And in my opinion, I want to know your opinion. What do you think of things? That's why I open up the comments like this, because I love y'all. And I love what I do. I love the opportunity that I get. I think it's greatness. And this is the craziest freaking channel on YouTube about plumbing. Where else are you going to have this much fun? So if you know anyone who really needs help, figuring out their future and what to do with their career, their lives, do me a favor, share this with them. Anthony says, starting your own company after 18 years in the trades, do you create your own flat rate pricing or use a service? Jacob, Anthony, I, uh, I'm members of organizations that help me put those together. And I, I think that's the best way to do it. At least then it's not just me pulling numbers right out of my tail. So, I love those services. Brian Lucas says, is there a downfall to too much drain pipe slope? Yes. Four inches at 45 degrees is dropped vertically, then quarter inch per foot better. I, I like the four, quarter inch per foot. Uh, you know, it can drop for 45 for a little bit. It just, you don't want to drop stuff too much. The water will outrun the, the waste and it can eventually start to build up there. How do I unclog a sink with grease in the pipe? Uh, that's where hydro jetters come in great. Robin DeBank, how much would an apprentice make a year? Robin, apprentices start out uh, here in the Texas area, or here in the Dallas area where I'm at, about 15 bucks an hour, so about 30 grand a year. Aristafari says, camera built into the toilet seat can really get a good view of the turd clopes. Yep, it could get a good view of a lot of stuff. What do you mean, why aren't I a Milwaukee guy? I mean, have, here, let me, let, let me see, watch this. Watch this, I get to, I get to pull my magic out now, maybe. Okay, y'all wanna, y'all say, you, you. Man, here my thing is pushing buttons. 
All right, let's see what happens here. Let's see how well this works. I love trying new things, especially when I don't even really, uh, my team would be mad at me right now. They'd be like, Roger. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh, looky there. So see, this is behind me. So right here, you see, there's my Milwaukee pack out. Right over here, there's my Milwaukee, uh, that's my M18 power threader. Uh, Look at that. See, y'all got a whole different view of it today. And this is what I get to see. So there's all my information with my notes. So, yeah, I kind of am a Milwaukee guy. Uh, but you know what's neat? I, I like Milwaukee. I like Rigid. I like DeWalt. DeWalt. Uh, man, I think there's so many people out there making great tools. Pretty cool. Uh, John Ball says... Uh, now, here, let me go back to this, too. Stephen, I have actually reached out to Milwaukee because I'm wanting to start a series on slab leaks. So, basically, it is – that come up? Basically, it came up uh, – what I'm wanting to do is remote slab leak detection equipment like the meter dog, leak detection equipment like leak detection equipment that I'm inventing, uh, Slab leak detection and slab leak repair. And I've reached out to Milwaukee because I like their new camera. I think that it's a really cool thing for slab leak people. So let's try it. John Boss has tried the bucket flush and same thing. Water stands for a few minutes, slowly draining, no clog, up to 25 feet with auger. Could it be an air vent? It shouldn't be, but it's possible. John, is it slowly going down? If you pour water in the toilet, does it slowly go back down? Arizona's booming for the union. Man, the union, look, if it's big commercial work, it's really going on nationwide. Jesse says, uh, I had a lot of our union brothers travel out to Austin for semiconductor plant out there. Man, there and new, work was going on up in New York for semiconductor plant for a long time, too. Uh, is new construction and commercial alteration booming in Dallas? Yeah, I mean, the bigger companies have got a ton of work going on, so it's great. Cam UK says, what's up? Uh, Mr. Sean Strong's in the house. Says, sorry I'm late. Was sweating some two-inch copper. I had to buy a new bandsaw to cut the old out. Yes, indeed. And I already showed everybody all this cool stuff over here a while ago, Mr. Sean Strong, but there is the link to the subreddit. Guy Sean gets in there and man takes great care of that stuff for me. And now it jumped, so I have no idea where I was. Oh, here we go. I wasn't too far back. I'm doing good. Uh, Jacob Anthony already did that one a while ago. Sean wants to know where the subreddit gang is. Man, they are all over it. Uh, DMKF Wolf says, Hi, I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you very much. There's the link there, the one I had up just a minute ago. Chris says it's a 1953 house. Big bear plumbing in the house. What's going on? I know. Who, who just disliked my stream? Do they really? Are you joking? Man, I've been going really good. Now somebody gives me a thumb down. Man, come on, people. Bob the Builder. Yeah, it was Sean Strong. He does. He, he's trying to keep my head in check. Cameron Rosario, what's the dirtiest job you decided to take? Uh, I got called over to Sean Strong's house to clean the toilet, and I got to tell you, that's why I moved to Texas. John Ball says, Galaga, hello, I haven't heard that since 1982's first video. Oh, Galaga, oh, God, yes. I don't know why I didn't even see that. It was looking funny. Uh, first video game, love. <coughs> Subbed and shared. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate that. Nightbot says, check out the Trades Academy. Devil's Eagle 01, thanks for the answer. Keep up the great work. We have fun. Almom, do you use mustache shampoo? Actually, okay, you'll like this. And I love when I get asked questions like this. I use Joyco products. Uh, and actually here lately, we've actually switched over to, uh, God, is it Purology, I guess? Uh, so I, I use a very good conditioner. Uh, I don't use mustache shampoo, what you put, yeah, mustache shampoo. But I tell you what, 
I do use the Dollar Shave Club beard oil and mustache oil, and man, I think that helps a lot, especially when I want let it get longer. Y'all go look at some of my older videos. My mustache is normally big and full and, and bully, wooly bully, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've actually trimmed it short with like a number two guard where I guess I cut my head with a number one guard. Uh, do y'all, and, and I asked some people last week, do you like my mustache short like this or do you like it big, thick, and full? Jesse Taylor says Arizona Apprentice for the Unions are starting out at 1950. Fantastic. No, Joe, you're wrong. Milwaukee makes great stuff. Uh, I really do. I, I've reached out to them. I'm trying to do some things with them on that slab leak detection uh, because we use cameras for our sewer isolation. And man, I think that their new cameras are phenomenal. Yori Dice, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, there you go. Jacob Anthony says, to the person that has a toilet tank close to the wall, if it's only a half inch too close, pull the toilet, see if you have enough room on the water closet flange. Yeah, a lot of times you can just slide the bolts up a little bit. If it's just barely touching, absolutely. Robert, man, I got to tell you, you can become a plumber at any age. I think the oldest apprentice in Texas is 85 years old. Somebody told me that the other day. Uh, Jacob, here, here's the deal. Uh, I normally don't share that information. The only reason is I've been trying to get some of these companies to sponsor what I do. Uh, the bad thing is I, I have people every day reach out to me and ask me how I do all this, how I do all that. And I don't want to just send them a, a bunch of people, but Jacob, if you'll message me, I'll talk to you and I'll probably give you some other people that you can talk to that I know do it just as well. And I, and I think good things about them. Uh, and Joe T, uh, man, slab leak, when there's a leak under a slab with the right equipment, you can find it. Uh, I've been working with two different slab leak detection equipment companies that I think are phenomenal. I keep trying to get either a licensing agreement or licensing to use products or a guarantee that after somebody passes away, I'll still have access to that equipment. I can't get any of that. So my, my thing is I'm trying to look at designing my own equipment. Lloyd says, any advice on going from trades into management? Absolutely. Uh, and I talk about this all the time. Learn everything that you can, construction management, leadership, all kinds of things. There's so many things that you can learn to help move you ahead. And when you do, it'll, it'll pay off big time. Best way to pull and set a toilet? I think there's only one way, and that's pull it and set it. Make sure you check the flange every time you pull one. Uh, Sean Strong says, just got out into the sticks. Don't think he'll have great service. Man, it is what it is. Rather glad to have you here when you when you are. Uh, yeah, I see you didn't take that thumbs down yet either. Is what it is. Glad to see you in here, brother. Camden Barbies, how are you doing? You're Rastafa. Uh, last one, do you think the Taliban will improve plumbing standards in Afghanistan? Well, they're trying to get all the crap out of there. Uh, that was entirely a joke. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to get everything out of there. So, okay, slowly goes back down. Yeah, John, you've probably got a soft stoppage then that it's getting past or the vent. Try If you've got a 25-foot cable, try running it in through the vent pipe. See if there's a bird nest up or something clogging it up. Jacobs is anyone trying to get into commercial plumbing, prevailing wage work. 15 years, made 180 grand a year, but you do have to bust your tail. You know, here's the deal, guys. If you'll get in the trades and bust your tail, you'll make it. Angel, I'm a bow tie boy. Not necessarily. Thank you, sir. thought that was pretty good. Teamwork, brother, teamwork. Yes, that's to you, Sean, if you hear me and don't see me. Hello. Is it okay to cut the battleship? No, nah, probably not. Uh, he don't like the mustache, shave it off. He's just jealous. Don't hate him. Uh, yeah, Hulk calls me too and asks me what I do to take care of my mustache. Old Crawdad says, Roger, first watch one of your videos to help with a plumbing problem. Was having continue to watch because you're so dang entertaining. Uh, thanks, man. Cheers. Old Crawdad, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. 
It says, please, how do I reach you personally? I have a lot of questions to ask and your advice on my plumbing dreams. And I'd be cool. Here's what I'd say is, look, I, I normally, if, if I look at an email or thing and it's eight pages long, I don't read it. I, I don't mean that bad, but if I read every one that I got like that, I could sit there and just all day read emails. What I would recommend is jump in a chat like this every now and then, ask a few questions, uh, come back again, ask a few more. I, I want to help people, but I mean, if I've got to sit down and read an email for 30 minutes, uh, I, I don't have that much time in the day. Uh, you know, I've, I've got people that, that go over onto my, my webpage and book 15 minute phone calls with me. And in 15 minutes, I can normally answer two or three questions in depth. The problem is then they're like, well, you know, man, I paid $95. Uh, I got 10 more questions. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll be here another 45 minutes. It's just, I can't do that. What's a good question to ask during an apprenticeship interview? Oscar, I love this. The best question to me that you can ask is how will coming to work here benefit me? Because I want to be a very good plumber. What do y'all do to teach us? And I just always think that's great. Yeah, slowly goes back down. Yeah, you've got a slow, slow, uh, soft clog in there or something. DMKF Wolf says my future father-in-law's lazy and the pop at the sink of the house has a double loop. Made me cringe. No, I'm thinking make it look good, make you look good if you fix it, show him the right way. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Yeah, as long as it works, you may want to leave it, but yeah, you may want to fix it later. Uh, I have done all types, commercial, Blazing Dragon. Uh, I've done commercial, residential, service, new construction. Man, I've done just about all of it. Yeah, service is all right out here. Good, Sean. Uh, I was afraid we were going to lose you or something. I'm joking. Glad you're here, brother. Uh, I do need to see about getting you and Cruz fly down here to Texas and shoot some video, man. Joseph says, hey, Roger, hope you're well. Going to be taking a plumber class soon. Very interested in the trade. Any tips? Going into this career at 23. Yeah, Joseph, at 23, man, you're doing good. Uh, have you ever found poop in a sink? Absolutely. It actually, backed up from a toilet on the floor above, so yeah, I have. Julian Robbins, what's the best way to get a dishwasher out when the floor has a lip? Also, is there a way to prevent a dishwasher from draining when you disconnect the hoses? Uh, you know, if you disconnect it to dishwasher first, you can probably put rags down and catch that water or a bucket. Uh, to get it out when there's a lip on the floor, Undo your screws, reach up under there, raise the feet in as high as they go. It's either got to come out that way or you're going to have to pull the countertop, which is not great. Uh, what's the best way to locate the sun and PVC with a locator? We use the Rigid Scout. I think they're fantastic. Uh, do I prefer Douglas pliers or channel locks? I actually prefer the channel locks. Uh, uh, man, I did a video today on the... God, is it the Rigid or... Uh, no, the, the, the Walt with the, the lock that slides. I gotta tell you, I like it. And guys, it is getting close to 5.30. I know I've only gone about an hour and a half, I mean an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna cut it short today. I keep having coughing problems trying to come up and I ran out of cough drops. So I am going to get ready to shut this thing down tonight. Guys, look, if y'all like what we're doing, number one, I've got a cool video coming out and, and I wanna pull it up. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Which one I got? Uh, make sure I tell. Because I was looking at these earlier, like what we got going on. I'm like, okay, this is cool. Uh, okay, man, where's it at? It ain't going to let me go in and see it. I want to try and tell y'all. Which one I've got coming up next. And it ain't going to let me get in there. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. This one is about fabuloso. And if you've never cleaned out the tank on your toilet, you need to check this out. It's a good one. Uh, 
Love you, man. Sean Strong, you, look, y'all, if you have not followed Sean Strong over on Instagram, go over and check out boom underscore the plumber. Follow him, say hello to him. He does a lot of great things over there. If you have not gone over to my subreddit, uh, which is right here, go over and check it out. Sean is in there, and he makes things happen. Uh, where was I? There we go. How often do you work people from other professions? Dr. Potato, I used to do that all the time just because I've been in commercial and residential new construction, so work with them a lot. Lactationable, lactationable. Uh, how do you work in trades with no prior knowledge? Man, get out, get a job. First of all, go through my mini course where it'll help you figure out do you want to be commercial, residential service, or new construction. God bless you. We'll keep watching every video. Joseph, thank you very much. Maya U, joining Local 68 soon. I love that. Tell Rick Lord, Roger Wakefield said hello. Uh, yes, check out the Trades Academy. DMKF, thank you very much. Uh, Nipex are really nice, and Sean's used all kinds. I, yeah, I'm wanting to try the, man, there's a lot of tools I'm wanting to try. Like that, you make awesome videos, always helpful. Plumber from Colorado, 8992, thank you. All right, guys, that is about where I'm going to call it a night. I hope everybody in here has a wonderful evening. Uh, this has been fun, as always. There is the subreddit. If you haven't gone over and checked it out, please do so. And I hope you all had fun. Come back in at 545. Check out this video about cleaning out your tank. Uh, it really can help some people. And if you're a plumber, it, it's a great thing to offer your customers. Come in and do this while you're doing something else. But anyway, guys, thank you all very much. I do appreciate you being here. Share this video with somebody. If you're new to the trades, if you're a tradesman, you want to become even better. If you're a tradesman, you're thinking about starting your own company, or maybe you have your own company and you want to learn how to do social media to grow it. Come in, check it out, share it with other people. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.